three on big country here for the country radio this is a special interview edition because we have the boss lady here. this is heather say hi heather. hello <laughs> so she's our contact for here at the event this weekend children lucy um she's fairly new to this uh, she's been with the company how many months now uh since february so february and so she's getting her feet wet i i think she's done an awesome job <laughs> i want to make it publicly known that she has provided more stuff for the media than most any venue that we have worked at so far this year. And I want to give her props to you. Thank Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Whoop, whoop. Tell us a little bit about what made you decide to get into this industry. Um, well, I graduated last year with my degree in PR um, in May, and I really didn't know what I wanted to do, what industry I wanted to be in. Um, didn't get a job out there where I went to college in Texas, uh, so I moved back home. Um, and then music just kind of fell into my lap through connections. Um, I got an internship, and then that led to another internship, which led to the job I have now. So. Have you always, you grew up in Nashville? You were born in Nashville? Yes, born and raised in Nashville. My mom actually moved here to do country music. She actually had a couple of top 40s, so that's pretty fun trivia. Really? Yeah. Who is mom? Um, do we know mom? I don't know. You might. You can look her up, Google her. She'll probably hate me for saying because <laughs> uh, she had big 90s hair and all that good stuff, but... Lady Gaga. No, oh. no. I don't know if she's... She's not that... That um, wouldn't be 90s. Like, but love me some Lady Gaga. Anyway. Um, so who's on? I'm her still name here. is... Her name then was Linda Carol Forrest. Two R's. Okay. Look her up. Look she up. has a music video on YouTube. So, does she really? Yep, it's there. It's still there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so mom moved to Florida to do music or moved to Nashville? Nashville. Nashville yes. to do music. But she's um, from Florida? She's from Texas. Actually. Texas. Yes. A lot of music's coming out of Texas right now because it's big. Um, Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth area. Um, Texas is country. Big country. Region. What made you pick country? Just because it's in the family um, genes or because it's what you like listening to? Well, I always grew up around country. Obviously, my mom sang at festivals and car races that we went to when we were younger, the whole nine yards. Um, so I always grew up loving country and then Nashville is always in the home. So, you know, my internship pretty much in music was country because that's just kind of what fell in my lap and that's where my connections were. Um, of course, I love all other genres of music too, but um, that's just kind of how it went and I have no problem because I, I love everything from Bobby Baird and Jason Aldean and everything in between. So. What, um, besides the Children and Lucy here, what other big event have you done so far since you've been with the company? Um, probably saving this. Um, we had a ton of artists this year at CMA Fest. Um, it was my first one um, attending and working, <laughs> so that was an awesome experience. Um, we had a ton of artists with interviews. We had performances we had to go to. Um, everything it was it was a really cool experience. I was so exhausted from the entire thing because you're just running up and down Broadway and back and forth to Bridgestone and wherever else the whole day. But um, it's definitely an experience. But it's easier when you're doing it on your home turf than it is when you're traveling to other oh, states. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, definitely. Because, you know, I'm setting up all the interviews for my artists. Right. And, you know, I don't have to go through, you know, everybody's individual publicist or their management to get approval and everything like that. And it's, it's a lot easier. But this is fun. It's been a really good So challenge. your company is a multi-talented company. You don't just do events, but you also handle artists. Yes, too, we handle like individual that. artists as well. Yeah. Um, what do you like to do on your downtime? I know you got downtime. Um, um, everybody likes downtime. Yeah. <laughs> Our camera guy said, no, she don't. Uh -oh. <laughs> she had downtime last night. I know she did. <laughs> I did. Um, in my free time, um, I love to just see my friends. Um, I love to get out and do things, go to baseball games, football games. Um, I'm actually going to do this year, which will be awesome. Um, Who's your favorite team? College or NFL? Uh, college first. College Baylor, because that's my alma mater. Sick of Bears. <laughs> Gotta love Baylor football. We're rebuilding, but we'll get there. Um, really, said that for 15 years now. Hey, now we were Big 12. <laughs> we were Big 12 champs back to back when I went to school there. So. Okay, professional. Yes, professional. Mm, gotta go with home team of the Titans. They're not a great team, but we had an awesome game against the Eagles. Right. Killed it. That's right. So that's the home team. Gotta go. Gotta as long go as you don't say Tom Brady, we're good. Oh, no. Absolutely not. No offense, Tom. <laughs> um, so um, 
Who's the most famous person that you've worked with so far? Hmm. CMA Fest, I'm sure you ran and know and worked with a bunch of them. Um, let's see. Um, my artists, well, I do have a lot of country legends on my roster. Um, we've got Bobby Bear, Mickey Gilly, Bobby Bear, yeah. Leroy Parnell. Um, so those are really cool guys to be around. Um, we've got up and coming Kaylee Shore. Um, she's going to be big. We've got Honey County. Um, we've, like I said, we probably have about 60 people on our roster. Um, so we've got an extensive amount of did, now, did Honey County hunt you down, or did you find them because we, we both know them because we know Brooklyn? Yeah, um, they had actually contacted us about being booked for the festival. Oh, um, okay. And then, kind of in a roundabout way, got reconnected, and then now <laughs> now we're doing their PR, and it's going great. We think uh, we're going to see some really good things. Um, so you got a lot of artists. Let's see. Uh, what, kind of, what else am I going to ask you? See, this is different because you're not an artist. So, <laughs> I know, it's um, Let me see here. Um, Usually I'm on the other side watching right. <laughs> the uh, interviews. Cake or ice cream? Ooh. Ice cream. Pizza or hamburgers? Pizza. Green beans or carrots? Green beans. <laughs> Trucks or cars? Ooh. See, I love them both so much. You gotta be specific. Yeah, Trucks yeah, or yeah, NASCAR? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll go with cars because I'm a Camaro right now. Oh, oh. And it's my favorite. What year, what year Camaro? 2017. Oh, you're a new one. <laughs> now, you can't get an older model. Those are the best. Oh, I do. Oh, the I new do. ones go pretty good. I love the classic look as well. So, so you're in the car. Who's the gearhead in the family? Mm. Would you say you know more about cars and vehicles than what your family does? Um. No, probably not. One of my best friends is really in tune with the cars, though. Right. So, so you know, I, I'm always calling him, hey, um, this is wrong oh, with you my want, car. Oh, you want him to come over and fix <laughs> Yeah. I see how that works. Um, uh, well, let's, if you had a night to get up and get all dolled up and dressed up and go out, where would you go? Or are you the type of person that just, I want to stay in my sweatpants and a t-shirt and stay home and watch TV? And bench. Oh, no, absolutely not. I, anytime I can get dressed up, wear a pair of wedges or high heels and put on a cute dress or a fun pair of jeans and a shirt, I'll absolutely do it. Um, I spend a lot of time downtown Nashville. I know I'm a native, but there's not much to do out in the suburbs, so we definitely like to okay, go downtown. Okay, well, then this, here's a good Probably question time. for you, then. If you're a native of Nashville, how have you seen, have you noticed a change in Nashville in the last 10 to 15 years when it comes... Because I can remember, everybody talks about Nashville used to be Nashville. Dolly Parton, Ricky Skaggs, Merle Haggard, old country. But things are changing now with the music industry because you got pop country, you got bro country, you got hip hop country. You know, is, do you see it being a good thing or a bad thing? Um, I think it's a good thing. I mean, Nashville's growing, it's expanding, tons of people move there every day. Um, you know, all kinds of buildings are going up and it's great for our economy and I think all the different music just you know it just opens the doors up for so many more people to become fans of country whether or not you like classic or all the new stuff that's going on there's always something for everybody there's always something for you to go listen to no matter what you know on Broadway in Midtown um, Bridgestone you know wherever you want to go there's always music and there's always different kinds and there's something for everybody even if you're not you know a huge country fan you can find that little sub genre that See, that, that's what a lot of people talk about. We, we, we <laughs> talked about this before. Should we take all music, all genres, and just make it one word? Music. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you might as well because, like I said, everything, you know, there's certain artists that probably shouldn't be in the genre that they're in, right. and then vice versa and whatnot. Music, that's just what you just call it, music. I mean, I think that's the easiest way to or do play, it. Or just, playlist. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that's an easy way you know, to classify it. Because that's so true. I mean, in all the different genres, there's just so many other subgenres right. of, you know, all the other different kinds of music. And, and people, you know, are now having all these remixes and um, everybody's featured on other things. Like, BB Rexo was on Court of Georgia Line. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's so crazy. And then it went number one for weeks and weeks and weeks. And, you know, I think it's cool that, that all the, those kind of different artists can collaborate together. It just opens the door up for so much, so many more opportunities for artists and then fans. And then, you know, you kind of are across from each other. It's a cool thing, I think. If you had a place to go to for vacation in the world, where would you go? Ooh. Wow, that's tough. Somewhere I haven't been? Or you can go to, well, just wherever. 
I do love going to Greece. I actually have family in Greece. Um, oh, okay. It's a beautiful country. The people are wonderful. The food's amazing. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Uh, I, I go anytime I can. So Fishing or hunting? Fishing. Boots or tennis shoes? Ooh, tennis shoes. I got a bad back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sure, yeah, yeah, boots would be, yeah, I think boots would be kind of hard. Yeah, so I got on my, my EQTs. Um, do you like to work out? Do you stay pretty um, fit? Yeah, I do what I can. You know, I don't, I'm not in the gym every day lifting. My job, I work nine to six, and then, you know, we have, of course, a lot of events for artists after hours, so I'm, you know, in and out of Nashville, downtown all the time, uh, which is awesome. Um, so not a lot of whole lot of time to go to the gym, you know, on the weekends I just really like to relax, but... I mean, I love to get out and do things and everything. So, yeah, yeah, we'll stay, stay pretty fit, <laughs> I think. Um, swimming or snow skiing? Mm, swimming. I don't know how to ski. You don't know how to ski. Like, I mean, you live guys. in Nashville? I used to go to Gatlinburg all the time and snow ski. Oh, yeah. They of course, this is when... There. This is when it was a one horse town, when you only had one road in and one oh, road out. Oh, yeah. Now they've got the whole tram. Yep. And, and they, I guess the road goes over the back side of the mountain, too, where it can go down now. Yes. But they used to only have, yeah, it was just one little strip mall area. Of course, this is back in the late 90s, too. So. The wheel's round now, right? Right. Now, yeah. Right? <laughs> you ever been to Dollywood? Um, I went when I was super little. I haven't been since, but me and my friend were actually talking about maybe going in October. They have a new Halloween kind of Dollywood so, or Disney World? Disney World. Sorry, Dolly. Ah, oh, ah, I got to go to Disney World. I mean, there's four parks plus the water parks, and and you know, well, I don't think it's called Downtown Disney anymore, but Downtown Disney. Well, it's the awesome uh, locals do it, but it's yeah. Dis or Disney Springs. Yeah, that's um, right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Uh, Diz, uh, Mickey's very merry Christmas or Halloween Horror Nights? Halloween. Ooh. Absolutely, I love Halloween. It's actually my favorite holiday. Really? So I'm excited to get my costume and whatever that will be. <laughs> and, you know, um, I think Halloween's on Wednesday, though, so that's not very fun. But <laughs> Elvira. Have you been to Elvira? No, haven't. You got the long, dark hair for it. I do. There you go. So that's a possibility. She could be a zombie music director. Hello, yeah, just yeah. saying. I've never been anything really scary. So I'm, you know, I'm contemplating whether you or not. have to know. some from Frozen? Uh, El Elsa. Elsa or yeah. the, the, right. the other sister? Well, I don't know. I don't watch it. I just know Frozen. So people <laughs> talk about Frozen. <laughs> Come on. Um, holidays around the corner. What you got plans? Family um, gatherings and stuff? For Thanksgiving, we are going to the Dallas Cowboys Thanksgiving Day game. That's oh. a family. Um, that'll be super fun. We went two years ago. It was awesome. Such a fun game. So I'm excited to go back. Um, Christmas time, just hanging out. You know, with the fam and friends. And How do you imagine going to a Dallas game when you're a Titans fan? Because it is the thing to do on Thanksgiving. Oh, <laughs> that was it. And it's family. That's yes. what it is. Fam trip. Thanks, Dad. Dallas, Dallas, she's single and mingling. I am. So <laughs> hit, hit us up on Florida Country Radio. <laughs> Listen, you've done a great job. Everything's so been so Wow, look at there. A thousand <laughs> requests already. I know, right? <laughs> Club Med, Club Med, if you're in Florida, Club Med, <laughs> you need to check this place out because it's a resort. I mean, it's it's a it's a city in itself. I mean, it's it's an awesome resort. Great to have Chillin' and Lucy here. Thanks, dear, for doing this for Thank us. Thank you so much. And hopefully we'll do it next year. Okay? Thanks, guys. Big country. We'll see you.